Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. Welcome to my basement. Um, I recently purchased this shelf from Target because I wanted to make a little area for Theo's toys because I found that he would much rather like play with a piece of like garbage than play with toys. So we haven't really gotten a ton of toys, but the toys we do have, if I have them all out at once, his idea of playing is just tearing them off the shelf and then walking away. He doesn't actually play with them. So what I have found works best is rotating my toys. I know Melina uh, Ciciati does this. I know there's a lot of like Montessori based play and playrooms that do this um, where they have the little, I feel like the cubbies is very like Montessori. I find that switching out the toys Weekly would be great, but realistically it's like every few weeks, it's like getting brand new toys for them. They're all in this box, but I just got a love every box for both each of the boys. So one for Theo and one for Lincoln. The one for Theo I got was is the helper. That's for 25, 26, and 27 month olds. And then for Lincoln, I got the sensor and that's for months five to six. So I'm going to incorporate some of these toys that Love Every sent me. I also have like all of my beautiful toys or Love Every. I feel like they just have oh such the, like the nicest toys. They are a beautiful toys but also they are made to help with your child's development where they are whether they're two months old, three years old, whatever it may be. So it's nice to have toys that are for Lincoln and toys that are for Theo um, and I have so many good toys from them that I'm going to switch out. So like this one's from Love Every, this one's from Love Every, this one, this one, this one, and then this whole box. We're gonna go through and rotate some of the toys and I just kinda wanna show you the system that I'm currently using that I find that works because I can be like, hey Theo, do you wanna just go play downstairs in the basement if I'm trying to like cook or do something and he'll come down here. And I find when I rotate them, he'll like entertain himself for a hot second. So the whole idea is like one toy per cubby and then if you have like a puzzle, oops, if you have a puzzle like this one, you're supposed to take out the puzzle pieces that way it encourages them to like figure it out. I'm not an expert. I really haven't done too much research. I've just been inspired for by other people that do this with their kids. Um, so let's rotate them out and I'll show you where I store them. It's not a super like slick system. Oh, I also should say that one idea from a recent toy rotation video that I saw from Milena was that if there's a toy that your child didn't really play with, um, to leave that out because it encourages them to like play with those toys. So the, I have this little tree full of animals. I might take them out of the tree and he can like see them. Set some of them up, throw some of them in the bins. Hopefully encourage some playing with these little animals. He really liked this wood fruit set with a little knife and so Velcro so you can cut the fruit up. He played with this a lot so I'm gonna take that away. He really likes this dump truck that has like the little shapes. So I'm gonna take this away. The question is where all the pieces are because <laughs> those get like spread out about. Cleaning set, so it's got like a broom, a dustpan, a mop, that sort of stuff. He actually pulled this out, um, but I'm gonna put this away and save it for another week. Cause he's going through a phase where he just clobbers stuff with these. He uses them as like weapons. He really likes this little toy camera, so we're gonna keep that out. We've got some musical toys, but we're gonna take those back. He did play with those. He's got a different puzzle that I wanna use. Book, I can go back upstairs now. So I've got all of them cleared out. I'm gonna keep that and the little camera. Spider, um, dang it, I hate spiders. I don't wanna deal with the spider right now. But this reminds me of God, what is that game? Connect Four? Is that the game? I gotta keep my eye on that spider. So if you can see, he's got the little different colors and then it comes with these guys. So you can just put. So I like this one. I like including some sort of like little puzzle thing. Theo loves books. So I'm gonna put the book that came with both of theirs. So then another one that came in Theo's is, it's got this little block with the holes so you can put the flowers in there. I think this one's still a little advanced for Theo, um, but it is like a two-sided puzzle, so I'm gonna save that one for him. This would be really good for like a road trip for a slightly older kid. I don't trust Theo alone with these markers just yet in like the back of a car. I will do it like 
upstairs. So I'm gonna keep this one for upstairs. I'm gonna keep Lincoln's toys out for upstairs. So I'm gonna put those back in here. I'll show you some of the things that came in Lincoln's. So one of these little tissue boxes so they can pull those out. This little thing that spins and is colored. One of these little balls. One of these little wobble things where it won't fall over so he can do that one on tum while well, he's doing tummy time. And then these little socks because he's just discovered his feet and he loves like grabbing at them. So I think that one is good. So we're gonna take these, put these back in and those are gonna go upstairs. And then, oh, I really like these. These came in Theo's. So it's got all these cards. So like wash hands, sing a song, get dressed brush teeth you can show them their routine now i'm going to flip you around and i'm going to show you where i keep the toys that are being played with and we're going to choose a few more for out here so this is where i keep all the toys and i just have like a little latch on here otherwise he will won't play well he will play with them but he'll mostly just like destroy this cabinet so i have bags down here and i try to have them sorted in two of these are like puzzle bags and get out a couple of these cards that you pull back and then they go because he really likes those so that could be one of them he likes things with wheels right now so this is one that came in a previous love every box it's a little lady car and he loved this car one a ball for one and i think that is enough but we'll just take a look and then... Ooh. Oh, that's a nasty spider. Okay. Oh, God. Put it back. I need to glue the vacuum cleaner to suck that guy up. All right. So it is complete. So we've got some little push roll cards, a camera, the little like Plinko puzzle colored thing, a ball. Another little car with a lady, some books, the flowers, and some animals. Do you like how I pointed with my foot? All right, so it turns out that I went to film another part of this video that it just didn't end up working out. But anyways, that is how I have been arranging his like little PlayStation down in the basement. It's so nice because he likes to go and play in the basement anyways, um, but he would just go down there and like mess with the stuff down there, which is fine. <laughs> but it's nice to have a little like, dedicated play space for him and he loves going down there and playing with his toys and he will like entertain himself endlessly um so it's nice to have different areas i have that area down the basement that he can go and play with toys i have a little sensory table out there that i fill with like all sorts of different things like it's the best thing ever i find that switching up his toys and rotating them um it's like having brand new toys for him I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope that inspires you to go and set up a system where you can rotate your kids' toys because it's so much easier to clean up what eight toys than it is to clean up their entire collection of toys. Like it's so time consuming to clean up toys, especially when you have all of them out. I know some people have different like, toy stations on the different levels of their home or in a couple different rooms, but yeah, I highly suggest not having all of their toys out at once because that is just overwhelming for them it's overwhelming for you to clean up and it just this is what works out for us thank you so much for watching thank you to love every for sending me the boxes for the boys and the stuff they have sent in the past theo always enjoys the love every toys and i like them because they look nice <laughs> um they're challenging i feel like they are teaching him something helping him learn rather than just like entertaining him if that makes sense so thank you so much again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye